In this video, you will learn how to configure SIP trunks for your UCX system. The recommended method to configure SIP trunks is to use the Trunk Providers page. From the web-based configuration utility, click on the PBX tab, followed by Trunk Providers. The Trunk Providers page offers a simplified interface to configure and manage your trunks. To create a new Trunk Provider account, click on the New Account button. Enter a unique name for the account. Select your SIP Trunk Provider from the drop-down list. The Trunk Providers in this list have all been tested and verified by eMetrotel. Enter the username and password received from your trunk provider. Optionally, enter the outbound caller ID. In the configuration details box, the values are pre-configured. You do not need to modify the fields here. If you do want to modify the fields, make sure you understand the purpose of these fields. Click on the Save button to create the Trunk Provider account. The corresponding SIP trunk for this account is immediately created and the changes are applied. We now go to the PBX configuration page to have a look at the trunk that is created. On the left side column, click on Trunks. On the right side column, look for the new trunk that was created and click on it. It is recommended that you make configuration changes from the Trunk Providers page and not from the Trunks page. The only changes you will make here in the Trunks page are the fields that are not in the Trunk Providers page, for example, CID options, or maximum channels. In most cases, you can keep the default values and do not need to make any change here. However, if you do want to make a change, just hover your mouse over to the question mark beside the field and you will see a description of the field. Now we return to the Trunk Providers page to add another account. This time, we add an account from a Trunk Provider that uses IP-based authentication. With IP-based authentication, the username and secret fields are not required, hence these fields are disabled. Instead, authentication is based on the IP address of the host. Under Configuration Details, enter the IP address of the host received from your trunk provider. Click on the Save button to create the account. If your service provider does not appear in the Trunk Provider drop-down list, you can still create an account for this provider by selecting the value Custom. However, you will need to obtain the configuration details from your provider and configure them here. This completes our tutorial on SIP Trunks.